everyone, so I know I'm going to start every video this week like this, but apologies about the lighting. I am having some issues with not being able to film in my usual spot, so I'm having to make do here, and the lighting's probably a little bit weird. I'm kind of looking in the viewfinder just to kind of try and see if it looks okay. But I'm here with a review of some lip products that I absolutely love, and I've not been excited about a lip product launch like this in a long time. And they are the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colours. Give you a little bit of kind of overview about the range first of all. The range isn't available yet. Um, I was very kindly sent these ones, but the range will be available in Boot, Superdrug, and Amazon, I believe, from March. And they will resell at $8.99, which will be kind of their full price. Usually kind of at the launch, um, at the beginning, they kind of have an introductory offer though. So it might be a little bit cheaper. Might kind of You might be able to get it for, say, I don't know, $7.99 or $6.99 even might be kind of the offer that they'll do at the time. But I've got four colours here and the range entirely has seven colours. They're all kind of really pretty wearable colours and I'm going to show you the ones that I've got. I'll start with the one that I'm wearing um, now and I'm going to kind of talk about my impression of the range as a whole. The one I've got on today is called Obsession and it's this vibrant pink colour. The packaging is really sweet, it kind of looks like a little vial of something, it's really cute. And I won't swatch this one on my hand because it's what I'm wearing on my lips today. But they are very opaque, very, very creamy. I wouldn't say that they feel um, really, really matte when they first go on. They kind of do feel quite moisturising. They're a moisturising matte. And that's something that's kind of very unusual because they stay feeling comfortable all day long. They don't necessarily set in that they're not going to transfer at all and you can eat and drink and they're not going to come off. They will because they don't kind of dry down to that completely matte finished. But that also means that they're not drying at all. I've seen some bad reviews of these. I know Miss Bridget Beauty really didn't like um, the one that she had. But I found that they have all been really, really nice. You do kind of have to have your lips in a little bit of... Um, a better condition than kind of really dry, kind of scrub a little bit and moisturise while it's first and then put them on. But that kind of goes without saying for any matte. The next one that I've got is the shade called um, Devotion, which is kind of a nice mid-tone brightish pink. I wore this one um, on Saturday, I think, and I loved it. Sorry, I've got hair in my mouth. They smell amazing as well. They have the same scent as the Revlon HD lipsticks, if you've tried those. It's that kind of marshmallowy caramelised marshmallow type of scent but swatched there you can see it's a beautiful mid-tone pink really really pretty you can see it kind of has a little bit of a gloss at first but it does kind of go to a more of a satiny semi matte finish then the next one that I've got is this shade called passion which is a pretty kind of red it's um not the most it's kind of like a pinky red like almost a raspberry red type of shade but it's not really really um dark when you put it on the lips it kind of is quite a pretty wearable red shade so it's that one right there and then this one um the next one is one that i haven't actually worn yet because i think it's more of a summery color but it is a really pretty color and it's called love and it's a kind of orangey pretty sort of um, it's like an orangey tomatoey red type of colour. I love those types of colours in the summer. I think they look really pretty. So it's that top one right there. Those are the four that I have, but they actually have seven in the range. And there's one I think that's kind of like a berry tone that looks really, really pretty that I would like to try. And there isn't kind of a single shade in this range that I don't think I would wear. I probably will buy all the other shades and have all of them because they're such nice lip products. They feel so comfortable on the lips and I'm someone who, I don't have particularly dry lips but I'll, I can kind of put a product on and then after I've had it on for a little bit, my lips start to kind of get a bit flaky and a bit dry and the lipstick starts to kind of go into kind of little balls. That doesn't happen with these. It really kind of just keeps my lips feeling nice all day long. Didn't have to top up with a lip balm um, and they stay nice. The applicator's kind of quite cool because it's got that kind of elongated, um, slightly sort of tapered shape. You can kind of paint the shape of your lips quite nicely. I always wear a lip liner anyway, but they're kind of easy to put on your lips so you can kind of really get into the corners and everything, which I really like. And I don't have a bad word to say about these lip products. I know they've kind of had mixed reviews online. I really, really like them. I think they um, 
have some great shades there's not kind of a dud in terms of color wise i think maybe they could have done with a kind of nudey color um that would be a little bit um kind of more of a pinky wearable nude but really really pretty and as i said they'll be kind of 8.99 so mid price range but liquid lipsticks kind of all the rage at the moment aren't they and these are particularly nice i really really like them so that's everything. I will put the info I mentioned down below, price and that kind of thing. I can't link them because as I said, they're not out yet. So this is kind of like a little preview review. But um, they will be out next month and I will be picking up some more colours. But in the meantime, I think I actually thought that the pink shade that I'm wearing right now wouldn't suit me and that it was kind of going to be one that I was going to give away. And I actually really like this. I wore it last week and I really liked it. And when I was putting my makeup on today, I wanted to wear one of them for the review, and I thought, I'm going to wear the pink one. I just, I really like the colour, I think it's a really flattering shade, and I think Revlon are very good at doing flattering lip shades as well. So, that's everything. I will do kind of a liquid lipsticks type of video, I think, maybe, um, maybe next week, sorry, I've got an itch on my back, maybe next week, um, and kind of compare, but so far, I absolutely love these. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I think in the US they're already out, so let me know, those of you who, you who are you from the US, if you like them and kind of what shades you've got and that kind of thing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.